Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back for episode two of Fallout the series. We're going to go ahead and hop in, guys. If you want to see the full length reaction, as always, you can check it out over on Patreon or if you're going to be able to channel, get you access as well. It will be a watch along format, so you will need your own footage to sync up the time codes for reaction the entire episode. Over there, you get the same thing for all the other shows and movies that we cover on the channel. You also get to suggest and vote on what movies we react to each month. We got month QAs, behind scenes footage to try to make it worth your while. So, you're going to be support channel. But, guys, at the end of the day, I really appreciate you enjoying this reaction. Please leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. With that all set out of the way, let's go ahead and hop into episode two, The Target. Here we go. Oh, whoa. Him to each line. Oh. But someday the sun will shine what she is falling in my behavioral engineering. Into each life. Oh, whoa, what is all of this? But too much, too much is falling in my whatever that was, it wasn't dead yet. Another shower I love the UI on the computer, man. Sit. Sit. In the Sit. Of life. Got to fall. But. No. Is that a good place for you? Some tears got to fall. Uh, what the hell's that? But when I think of you. Looks like the shit that was in Billy Miles' nasal cavity in the X-Files. He's shooting what- Oh! Whoa! Wow, what in the world? So whatever that was, he just shot it into the back of his skull. Was he not? Hmm. Oh, God. Oh, please remain calm. <laughs> oh, oh, that's cool. That thing has awful aim, by the way. Good God. Then again, this is an RPG, so maybe his stat of his evasiveness is just way too high. Or luck. Or whatever else could factor into that. Don't fence me in of the cottonwood trees. Send me off. God damn, man. At that one angle we saw just a little while ago, that looked like a miniature town. And it just was very far away. Oh, wow. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Oh, they didn't mm, share the final meal with the family as things were going to shit. Oh, oh, it's it's our escapee. Oh, 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 good God, good dog. Get that rad bug. Oh, wow, shit, he was just there the whole time. What a sneaky little snake. So what's the story? He was doing something he wasn't supposed to there. 
some kind of experiment of his own. Before the war, people joked about cockroaches surviving a nuclear blast, but they didn't merely survive, they improved. Enlarged thorax to ward off attack, extended antennae in order to hunt in packs, incisors to help ingest larger prey, <laughs> such as yourself. Wow, she would have been bug food if they weren't here. Sir, I'm looking for my father. He was uh, kidnapped by this woman named Moldaver. You need to go home, miss. You come from a world of rules, of laws. This place is indifferent. I do not think you would be willing to do what it takes to survive up here. I'm not going back without my dad. She's got resolve. Then you will have to adapt. The question is, will you still want the same things when you have become a different animal altogether? <laughs> well, well, I love it. I see you went with the tempered lining on the T60. Does that, that help with mobility? Cleaner. <laughs> My lord, we were assigned to search a town called Philly. We're still miles from... Are you, uh, challenging my order, sir? <laughs> uh, I love this, uh, this hazing, man. Am. Oh my. <laughs> oh, I wonder what kind of creature was hiding in there. It's kind of funny because as a squire, he's he's kind of the his caddy. They're here. A man and a dog. Oh, what did we, what, ooh, he wanted to shoot something. Our good Lord Knight here let out a good old fuck. Who would he heard that thing? Go see if the target's in there. But, but, my, my Lord, I, I don't have armor. You are in a suit through acts of bravery. This is an act of bravery. My, my Lord, I... In order, my squire, move. Get in there, fodder. See anything? What's the problem, dipshit? Oh, whoa. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> is that a bear? What is that thing? Fuck, 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 no, 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 no. Wow. Oh, and then he just knocked himself out. Yeah, dude, that's just a massive irradiated bear. You wanna earn that armor? Well, you might be uh, getting some hand-me-downs. Oh, hot damn. I kind of thought like if this was gonna be like further confirmation about the boot thing, if he lets another person take the fall for his advancement. This fucking thing off me. Oh. Oh, fuck, where were you? There's always something to ruin your fucking day. This wasteland fucking sucks. Wait. The clerics too, sending me Stupid missions for remnants that turn out to be a fucking toaster oven. You know what you could do with a fucking toaster oven? I'm asking you for a step back and you're looking at me. Yeah, Michael Rapaport. I thought I recognized him. Man, I love that about Amazon. Radiated bear on my back and you're standing there, you stupid motherfucker. You know this is all your fault. Dude, kill the guy. Fuck him. Fuck it at this point. You know what they do to squires that don't do their fucking job? They string you up, Maximus, by your uh, lungs and they, uh, they hang you. 
and let the vultures come get you. That's fucked up. That's what they're gonna do to you. This is all your fault. You dumb motherfucker, you. Dude, fuck this guy. Give me a step back. Dude, you're the one relying on him right now, and you want to be talking all this shit? It's a knight's duty to better this fallen world. You don't deserve that armor. Uh, you think you do? They'll kill you for this. Not if I bring back the target. Hey man, you gotta commend him for his ambition at least. And at least this guy is just an asshole. Fuck this guy. If he did the thing with his friend, that's scummy as shit. This guy, I can let that slide. Excuse me. Hi. May I approach? I ain't got weapons. Oh. For money? It's okay. I just want to ask you for directions. What's that you're working on? It's meant to be a water filter. No matter how much sand I put in, I just get more sand. Well, have you tried water for the water filter? Do, do you see any water around here? Uh, sorry, uh, sir, I actually, I might, I need mm. that. Somebody hands you a bottle of clean water and you drink it. Even if you're not thirsty, you drink it. Fair enough. Imagine it's impossible to come by. You head to Philly? Oh, what's Philly? Town. So we're at Hill. Never been myself. You've never been over that hill? Nah, it's too dangerous. People get killed in Philly all the time. That's where my daddy got killed anyway. A couple of brothers too. Had a hand as well. She got killed there once. Sorry to hear that. Sounds dangerous. Or you just stay here. Use the family and help with all the work. I'm okay, but uh, thank you so much for the advice. I'm real sick. Make him die and oh. you, you wouldn't have to put up with me for too long. This could all be yours. <laughs> okay, thank you. You're a good person for not shooting me with that gun. Okay, so like when I heard Philly, I thought Philadelphia because I know we were just at Santa Monica. I was like, there's no way in hell she walked all the way to Philly. I don't know any other towns near there that ha bear that nickname. Damn, he did it. Let him die and took his armor. Watch him just tip right over. Oh, nope. Got in no issue at all. Watch out. There's a two-legged animal running about. He finally got to feel what it's like to be in a suit of armor, man. Nice. Oh! Whoa! That may not be that impressive given that place is extremely dilapidated but he still fired that thing like a rocket with that foot what the hell I said I'd hand him. thank you mr metal man and as for you you stupid rube not the first time i've been persecuted for my scientific curiosity <sighs> Have a really bad day, sir. Toodles. You, sir, are a scholar and a gentleman. You should be commended. Feed that ego of his. Feed that ego. He may have been the bad guy in this situation, though. We don't know. That guy was fucking my chickens. Oh, my God. Yep, and you just let him run. Okay. On your way, citizen. Ah! So, God, he's having a little too much fun. We got a full-on town over here. Fresh iguana. Can I interest you in some iguana? Oh, uh, I'm okay, thank you. Um, have you seen this man? Dog meat. Dog meat. Oh, yo. Dude. Got a proper little town going on here. Reminds me of that, like, trash heap that you run into. I, I forget which one. Uh, that's got the nuke at the center of the town. 
Oh, is that our ghoul boy? Yo! Oh, whoa, look at that, Pip boy. It is. That's our man. His bullets have a bunch of different little uh, toppers. I know that is not the proper term. Look, there's multiple different styles of Pip Boys. I noticed that you have an assortment of Vault Tech equipment. Uh huh. Because these items technically belong to Vault Tech, <laughs> it would be safe to assume that you do business with criminals. God, her skewed perception of the world is hilarious. Holy shit. You're an actual Vault Dweller. I am. <laughs> I thought all you sardine fucking dipshits were dead barbs. Get in here. You <laughs> gotta see this. Uh, the radar I'm looking for is about five foot nine. Barb. A woman in her fifties, I think. Barb. Goes by the name of Barb. Moldaver. Get in here. You. Get back to your fucking room, Barb. I take it you know who she is. Get out of here, vault dweller. Ma'am, this Moldaver broke into my vault took my dad and, and killed And I'm telling you, you're going to go through a whole lot worse if you stay around here. Clean hair, nice teeth, all ten fingers. Must be nice. Well, I know that it can't have been easy for you up here, what with all the murder and, and the dirt. But the That's the only the two things, murder and dirt. To everyone. And why is that? We're going to save America. <laughs> and when exactly were you planning on saving America? The vaults were nothing more than a hole in the ground for rich folks to hide in while the rest of the world burned. You know what folks up here say about the vaults? What? Fuck the vaults. <laughs> yeah you got to well not all of them but for the most part got to live in extreme comfort by comparison i mean especially theirs man they had some nice little apartments and here's our boy again man and his dog really think you should go home are not safe here. That's what people keep telling me. No one understands my situation. You come from Vault 33. Your primary crop is corn. You have a telesonic projector in your farm. It loops images of the Nebraskan countryside. You've been brought up in a meritocracy where people oh, pride wow. themselves on doing the right thing. I think I know enough to know you need to go home. He Who knows. And how do you know a so A lot. Much? You will too. Let's get you inside. I told you to get the fuck out of here. Real zig. Uh oh. Or you wouldn't happen to be a doctor, would you? Cause I happen to be looking for one. You know your kind ain't welcome here. Well, maybe not, but I'm gonna make myself welcome. Now, last night a bounty came in through all six agencies. A hefty price on the head of a man that fits the description of that fellow right there. Now I may not know much. But I do know a bit more when I see one. I've been paid a whole lot of caps to provide this man safe transport out of Philly. Oh! Whoa! Did that just detonate? I got a thousand bottle caps for whoever kills that I don't see anybody lining up to take that offer. Nope. Too slow. Yeah, it is. It does explode because there's the puncture and then the explosion. Ooh, that sound. Ooh. Oh my. God damn. I love the sound that thing makes. You want these cherry tomatoes, but you got a hole in your neck. <laughs> Boom. 
Boom. Jesus, man. Dude, no, better not hurt that dog. Didn't even take it. I'm going to have to ask you to leave him alone. I acknowledge that I'm unfamiliar with your circumstances. At first glance, your treatment of this man appears unfair, and I'm obliged to intervene. Now, if your instinct is to harm me as a person simply trying to de escalate a conflict, I'll have to assume of the two of you, you are likely the primary aggressor. In which case, I think everyone in this town would agree the force is justified. Unless you willingly stand down now. Fucking ball I love it, man. I love it so much. She's got to make sure that everything is by the book and by the numbers, by the protocol. She's probably got an SOP on this whole type of encounter. She said stand down. Oh. Shit. Titus of the Brotherhood of Steel, stand down. By using his title as well. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Huh. Listen, that man is important. I've been sent here to find him. Get him inside and keep him there until I've dealt with a ghoul. I wonder who paid this shop owner though. Was it the Brotherhood or yet another faction? Oh, oh my God, he's fumbling the gun. Nice. I still feel so bad about this dog, man. I'd say come up here and get me, but it's hard to walk upstairs when you're wearing a 12 piece cast iron skillet set. <laughs> you should need a new foot bar. Trying to eat my beans, but okay. Ah. If I must put my beans down, sure. I'm sorry for yelling. Been Jim's limbs. Oh, whoa. Limping ass across the wasteland, you may not be as smart as people say you are. Do you have anyone else you can trust in this town? Shit. Hey, Daddy's girl, I need you to take this man here to my client. Thank you, uh, but I'm really only here to find my dad. My client goes by the name of Lee Moldaver. Oh. You ain't getting near Moldaver without something to bargain with, and delivering this guy right here is your best option. Well, what does Moldaver want with you? I mean, she steals dads. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want your dad back or not, kid? Uh, huh? Gosh, damn it, okay. Uh, now, here. Mm -hmm. this is she where swore. You're going to find Moldaver. She and her kind pull up across the shithole. What's the shithole? Just, just get to the coordinates. The rads move pretty quick in and out through oh. there, so you're gonna need to move fast if you want to keep your skin. Alright, don't get out the back, her. Hey, gotcha. Dude, that's wood. Come on, pull your foot out. I saw what you did to that stone earlier. Come on. Drive that thing like a fucking shopping cart. Uh oh, one. the gaps. Read the manual. Man. 
man. He... Wow, dude. He fumbled this so hard. It looked a little wonky. Serums to energize. Serums to invigorate. Serums to heal your feet. Come on, guy. Smooth. Is that a mini nuke back there? Oh, he's not. You better not eat that dog. Oh, is he gonna patch it? You stabbed him in the first place, but at least you're not completely cold hearted. No. Good as new. All right, boy. Take me to your leader. Oh, whoa. Look at that. It says here we have about 20 miles left to go. How's your new Oh, oh golly. I'm not going to make it. I don't know who you are or how you know the things that you do. You are going to get across that wasteland, and we're going to do it together. That's a promise. No, you see, I've just taken a cyanide pill. Oh. <laughs> Why, why, why would you do that? Vault-Tec Plan D. It was the most humane product that Vault-Tec ever made. It was quick, painless, tasted like banana. I, I was surprised it wasn't more popular. People are going to come after you. You'll need to move quickly. You can change the future if you can bring me to Moldaver. But how am I going to bring you if you're... Not, not my whole body. Ah. Justice head just my head the chip he implanted in himself oh whoa and this is the only way to get your dad back you are a fault dweller if you're going to survive a pe you need to start acting like a surface dweller okay miss mclean oh How he you know knew her name, name. sir God damn it, man. These mysteries. episode i thought that was a fun 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 one I, the first one had to set up a lot of things i still think the first episode was really good it was a great foundational pilot got the ball rolling set our stakes our kind of overarching mission our, a mystery and then got us out into the world introduced all of our characters and now in this one we just pick up and we're just seeing the world we're having her walk through and just kind of stumble through everything again with that naive, innocent outlook on everything, carrying herself like she's read all the handbooks, you know, like the whole conversation with her and the ghoul was great. That was the most corporate de-escalation thing I've ever seen while at the same time checking all the boxes. You can see mentally, she was checking all the boxes from the handbook in her brain as she was going through it. Based on this and that and this and this, I can only condone that you are the aggressor. And in that situation, I should be authorized to use deadly force if needed. Like the whole thing. I saw some people harping on that in the trailer because I know that line was that line was in there. And like, because it just sounded so weird and off, that's the point, you know? Like, especially if you work in like any kind of corporate setting, especially customer support or anything like that, those spiels and these check boxes and protocols you just have to go through to justify any kind of pushback or any kind of action at all on anything, you know, it just sounds exactly like that, especially like this walking, like personification of this vault tech poster propaganda shit that they've been fed. You know, we're gonna go up top, we're gonna convince them to save the world, and we're awesome, we're the saviors. No one's gonna be upset. 
that we've just kind of been tucked away all this time, living with air conditioning, clean water, and all kinds of stuff, and like beds, you know? Like, it's just like this naive outlook, and she's just being met at every turn with just people who are just like, are you fucking serious right now? <laughs> and I loved all of that. Meanwhile, we were following up on Maximus, who his... Lord, man, his knight was an asshole. But he's been disillusioned with all that. He goes out into the on these missions to retrieve these things, and along the way, he just fucks around, has fun, because he finds it all extremely pointless. Because, like he said, when you learn what these things are, we're collecting a toaster oven, you know, all this kind of stuff. He's like, they have me do all this shit for a toaster oven, man. Do you know what that is? It's a toaster oven! They're going out there risking their lives and all this stuff for like these dinky little pieces of tech to preserve it and he's just like, it's dumb as shit. While I'm out here, I'm gonna use this time, my freedom, to just kind of let off some steam and use my position to get myself a little bit of uh, comfort. He was just kicking his squire around, like giving him these odd jobs. At first I thought it was just your typical hazing, but it was just, he was just a little bitch. Send him in that cave without a light. He'd be like, hey, you see anything? And then he got his ass mauled to death by that bear. Then it just came down to yet another choice for Maximus about how he's going to achieve his goals. Because this guy isn't what he's built up in his head about what these people are meant to be. So he, rather than help him, let him die and then took his suit. But, of course, he doesn't know how to use it properly, so he just fumbled around that. But he, seeing him go through, like, the kind of superhero throws with the montage of him getting used to the suit and play around with all of its capabilities was a lot of fun, but then when it came down to a real practical situation, he just fumbled through it so hard, and then the ghoul got the best of him. When he stabbed that dog, man, I was like, oh my god, man, what the fuck are you doing? But he's, he patched him up. I'm, I'm glad that the dog is not dead, but he still had to hurt the dog. God damn it, dude. Damn, damn his bullets, though, that little, it was a Pipe pistol, right? The pipe pistol gun or something like that? I don't know. Look at me trying to figure out what these things are. I don't know. I just know he's shooting explosive rounds because it would bust through an initial target and then immediately explode. The brutality of that whole scene was great. That was one of those moments where I didn't, I wasn't as bothered by the blood effects in it, but the flying effects for the suit for the power armor was a little janky. When it's on the ground though and it's just they're throwing down fisticuff style. I thought all that looked nice. The whole aesthetic of this town, the shops, and all the little nuggets and set dressing, all that was really cool. Really, again, the budget looks great. I saw somebody, like, again, this is another one of those complaints I don't necessarily understand, was that they said that the things on the surface feel too clean and fresh. Like, someone said everything has a fresh coat of paint on it. It doesn't look like it's been out in the waste for all this time. And I was like, I don't see a single example of that. And maybe there's something later, I don't know. But the closest thing we've seen so far was some of those drums that were right outside of that cave. But to be fair, they were right by that cave and under an immense amount of like tree canopy. You know, there's coverage. There's not going to be as heavy sun bleaching there. So like everything else though, like when it's out in the open, dude, it looks decrepit as shit. So I really don't understand that complaint. Like the only thing that stands out is her but she came fresh out of a, a vault that was, up until a few days ago, completely intact. So, like, it makes sense. Like, right now, she's the she's the most clean and proper thing up on the surface. But seeing that creature, though, that was a lot of fun. That was what that was wicked and wild. We got that rad bug situation with her camping. We got, I guess we got this little insight into the enclave, this experimentation that they're doing with the dogs and the way they euthanize and kind of control the eugenics, you know, the, the minimum requirements for them to go through with whatever they do with these animals. And then whatever information he's implanted in this, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's got data stored on it. I don't know if it's a tracker. I'm not exactly sure what that capsule was. He popped into his skull, but that's the important part is that he delivers this and he's trying to get it to Moldaver of all people. So like, what exactly is she cooking up? Cause is she gonna be like one of these figures is like, she had to do some messed up shit, but like what she's doing is for like a greater cause. And then is that going to put our character in like a, a moral quandary at the end of what does she do to save her father? I'm really curious about how that's going to build up because we got this bounty out for this guy and I'm not exactly who put the bounty out. Was it the Brotherhood? Was it the Enclave? And is Moldaver a third party? I don't know. I don't know. A lot of people want this guy, but I guess the only important thing is whatever information he's he's taken with him. The whole thing though is about her tossing aside all that handbook nonsense and learning to live to survive. People up here are only going to take you seriously 
when you can do that. She definitely needs to trade out that gun. Not a very efficient form of uh, self-defense. And besides that, uh, she only has a couple of shots of it anyway. It's not a very efficient tool. I thought when she was back there, she was going to grab one of those weapons off the rack and then come out there and join the fray, but she didn't. So whatever, <laughs> we'll see what happens with that. So she's got the coordinates of where she needs to head to next, like this apparent shithole, as they called it. I'm curious to see where it is she's got to go through because she said that you have to go through the shithole to get there. And, you know, it's really high with rads. It's a very heavily irradiated area because she said, you know, once you're there, you need to keep moving if you want to keep your skin. Wonder what we'll run into there. I'm really, I'm really curious, man but I'm really enjoying the show so far. But guys, that's kind of all I got for right now. I'm going to pass it off to you. Sound off in the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Remember, if you want to see the full-length reaction, you can check it out over on Patreon or if you're on Marvel channel, get you access as well. And speaking of before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends, Manny Share, Ryan, Karen, your course, Scott, Melita, Robert Anguiano, Jeffrey L., Jay Cottrell, Eric Official, Casey Wood, Russell Crockett, Justin Smith, Brendan Boyd, and Amy Becker. Thank you guys so much for continued support. But that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.